In this third of five videos on vectors, we look at the convex combination of two vectors. Let's start by plotting two vectors out into our graph, P at 7.15 and Q at 16.5. The shaded area here is the convex combination of the vectors P and Q. Any vector represented by this expression must therefore lie within this shaded area. This is what's known as the convex combination of two vectors. This has applications in many areas of computer science, but especially in the field of computer games which typically simulate 3D worlds. It can be used as an example to easily calculate valid fields of view, for example, in a first-person shoot-em-up game. The convex combination of vectors is an expression you have to know for the exam, and it's in the form a times vector 1 plus b times vector 2, or usually more simply expressed like this, where u and v are each a vector which we, you will have to supply or be supplied with. A plus B, whatever values they are, must equal 1. And at the same time, both values must be greater than or equal to 0. If we follow this expression that we've got supplied here, then any values that we give it will result in a vector which has to fall somewhere on this dotted line from P to Q. And we should be able to prove this by supplying any values we like for A and B. You can try this yourself, but let's work through an example now. So we're going to supply the values 0.35 and 0.65. Remember, these can be any values you like as long as both of them together equal 1 and both of them are greater than or equal to 0. Well, they do. We can now supplement these values into the expression and we should end up with a vector that ends up on this dotted line. So we take 0.35 and we times it by the vector p. Well, there's the vector p. And we take 0.65 and times it by the vector q. This gives us these values here. We then add these together to get a new vector r. So our vector, 12.85 and 8.5, and as we can see when we plot that on our graph, this vector lands directly on the dotted line between P and Q.